Hello, welcome to the next episode of Super Mario Kart Wii. Uh, I decided to try some of the... Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know. Let's just pick one. Oh my gosh, I don't know what the bad ones are, though. I don't want to piss everybody off. <laughs> Let's pick this one. I don't know. These are all these are all blind. I don't know any of these. Um, I was going to play some more uh, Nintendo-only ones or whatever. But then I was like, you know what, man? I got all these tracks at my disposal, man. But, um... Yeah, uh, I guess I should apologize for picking crappy ones in advance, because I have no idea. These are all blind. I'm pretty sure if I get to the ones that I recognize, then I'll point them out. I'm pretty sure it was only like three. Oh, this is cool. This is like a carbon copy of the, uh, the one on the Super Nintendo. So yeah, one thing I noticed from the, um... Oops. One thing I did notice from the, uh... Are these... Okay. Wait, so what happens? Okay, this is regular ground, I guess. I guess it wouldn't be fair if they slowed you down. I guess it would it would be if they if they had it apply to everybody. But then people with mushrooms, you can only have one mushroom in um in the regular oh jeez. In regular uh, Mario Kart. So if they let you have like a gold shroom, it'd be like a super huge crazy advantage, you know? Yeah, I'm assuming oh yeah, see that guy shot a blue shell, so. I knew after he blew his load to hit me, I knew that he wouldn't have anything else. Turns out he did, but he was a blue shell, so he couldn't defend against it. Man, I, I'm guessing that dodging those when you have a mushroom is actually faster. But I was going to say, one thing I noticed is that, I mean, I understand that these are fan courses. So they're maybe not going to be as super crazy uh, good or whatever. Man, that Chaco stuff. Uh, I always thought it was like ground cocoa or something. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's just like it's just like in the Super Nintendo version. It slows you down like a mother fricker, man. It slows you down like crazy, man. Ugh. I'm pretty sure it's not faster to actually do that. Oh man, it's five laps? Oh geez, okay. I didn't even notice. Oh, it just occurred to me. I was like, wait, we're almost done. Why is the music like speeding up? I'm not sure if they're all five laps. This one's like a short one, so maybe maybe it is. Also, there's a whole bunch of uh, settings in the option menu. Actually, I was about to say, maybe uh, selecting the number of laps is one of them, but they wouldn't really be able to implement that because then, like, what would they do if they had... Wait, how did I pass that dude? Um, they would have to match people that picked the same option or whatever. <laughs> that would be kind of lame. Like, you don't want to divide the, uh, the community uh, that much. But uh, yeah, is it better to not actually hit the the ramp jams? I wonder. And yeah, I know you get a little speed boost or whatever. Maybe you want to hit one and then not hit another one until your boost wears off. Hitting them one after another after another seems to not be smart at all. Okay, let's take a look, see what else we got. What the heck is that? I mean, it's a Yoshi, but why is he colored like that? Also, I'm not sure if I like this arrow situation. There's only three. Uh, three on a jam um, But in the normal one there's four so you actually have to you have to be on the top row and then hit sideways To like scroll it over one and that was on the regular um, the one from the What do you call it Ho the regular one from the homebrew channel or whatever? So it's like what the heck so if I want one that's on the left or the right side I have to go up to the top scroll it over like that seems like such a step down why wouldn't you just have four? If you want to scroll it, that's fine. If you want to have the order of the cups be different for, for whatever reason. I mean, that I understand, but... Boy, this actually looks pretty good for uh, for fan-made. What the hell? Oh, geez. Uh, I'm trying to think. What system was this on? GBA? I did play the, the Game Boy Advance one, like, kind of. Like, I played it some, but I didn't, like, play the... Like, I didn't play, like, the living daylights out of it like I did the... Uh, like I did. Oh, geez. Oh, there's no greats on those. <laughs> the one on the Super Nintendo, I played probably... I played, like, a whole lot. And then I played the N64 one, like, a pretty good amount. And then the GameCube one, I didn't play that much. And then this one, I played the most, obviously. I only, I only played Mario Kart 8 for, like, an hour or so. But I've watched, uh, I've watched a lot of that. I watched a lot of, uh, Dashy videos of, uh, of him playing that, so... Oh man, I feel like um, I'm at a huge disadvantage not knowing the layout of this track. Oh geez, I didn't know that there would be um, grading right there. 
Man, this one actually looks really good. It flies in the face of what I was gonna say a little while ago. Oh, you've got the Mecha Koopa guy. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, man. Yeah, there's a lot of new tracks, man. I'm fucking, I'm stoked, man. I'm, I'm, I, like, it's super, like, it's super, like, I mean, I don't know exactly, but I'm super stoked. I was sitting here, like, trying to think of, like, what word, like, super thrilled, super thrilling. Like, what word means more than stoked? I don't know. But to, like, play, to, to have the same uh, Mario Kart mechanics on all these new tracks. This track is long as shit, too. I guess this one's only three laps. So I guess it maybe depends on just the length of it. Or maybe there's, like, a random setting where it picks it for you. Some Sort of like how it picks um, the, the CCs or whatever for you. Huh, I feel like that's kind of a trap. <laughs> how the heck would you hit that item box and then still make that turn? Maybe you just have to anticipate it. But yeah, this course is cool as shit, man. But I was going to say that there was one that I saw where all the textures, like, I don't know, it just looked, it looked very rudimentary, like, rudimentary. Like, you were always either on a straight surface or you were on, like, whenever you went, like, up or down, it was, like, a 45 degree angle. I think it was, like, um... I don't remember the name of it, but you're like you're like outside and you're going on like picnic benches and stuff. Like you're like miniature. Everything is like giant size, I think, right? Oh man, this one is uh, this course is very long. I do like how big it is. Like look at that. Check out that mini map. That check out that mini map. Man, is that dude a lap ahead of me? <laughs> Yeah, I, I might have got lapped. Kind of wish he would slow down so I could see if he actually did lap me. Oh, wait. No, he didn't. Oh, my gosh. How does he suck so bad? I've literally never played this one before. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's new, too. Who knows? Oh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe he's, like, drunk or something. Yeah, I used to play this. Uh, I used to play this game drunk. And uh, my playing didn't, I had so much muscle memory that my playing used to not, uh, like, get any worse until, like, I've had, like, nine shots. Oh, man, I'm quite a bit ahead of uh, the dude in fourth. Man, this one sucks to get if, it, if there's not that many players. Look how spread out we are. Even if there was 12 people, maybe they made it, um, oh, I didn't even get to finish. Maybe they made it, like, to perfect scale. Because, I mean, if there's going to be, like, 12 people, I mean, they could have, like, shortened, you know, they could have shortened some of the track or the, the sections or whatever. But I guess maybe they wanted to keep it true to the original. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, next. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. There's so many, uh, cups. Dude, I have no idea which one, which one to pick. Oh, wait, did I see Super Mario? Um, it looked like I saw one of the, the tracks selections from a regular cup. Uh, the SNES um, Mario Circuit 3 one or whatever. Rainbow Road Solar Edition? No! This means it's a custom one! Actually, I forgot these are all custom ones. Even the GBA one. I mean, if it says GBA, I'm guessing it's from the... I mean, obviously, I guess it's from the one. I just don't 100% know. That's why I don't want to say I 100% know. But it's like a recreation of the GBA one. But th this one might be 100% like original. So, uh, yeah, I mean... It sucks because I'm probably gonna piss off a lot of people because I'm gonna be picking, I'm gonna be picking like terrible courses for a long time. Uh, because one, there's a lot of them. I'm not sure how many of them are considered good. Maybe this was, maybe they're, all, maybe there's like, maybe they're all good. Wouldn't that be crazy? If like a person who made these, they like purposefully selected tracks that they knew would be good to like recreate from the other systems, or they just they're fans of the game, so they know what makes a good track. So they made all the tracks good. Man, wouldn't that be crazy? Uh, okay, there's cookies in space, apparently. And now we're on these uh, ring jams. It's kind of cool. Oh, man. It's a very... Well, we went like... Did we, we went like almost all the way around that thing, didn't we? Jeez. Oh, man, this one has a giant mini-map, too. But, uh, like I said... I'm gonna be like there's so many to pick that I'm just gonna be picking wait oh 
I was like, wait a sec, was I supposed to somehow like land on one of those little jams up top? Maybe it's like a faster route if you have skill. Oh man, this is freaking nuts, man. Okay, the little craters are not actually, like you don't actually dip into them. Then when I was falling, I was waiting for the, the, uh, the re-entry flames to hit me or whatever. Oh, do you go slightly faster on those? Um, oh man, we're actually controlling in this too? I think I like that more than the uh, the regular cannons, because it gives you more opportunity to catch up. I guess you. Do I guess also. I guess the good thing is that you can use it to like dodge like a blue shell or something though too. So yeah, I don't know. Oh come on, man! Man, this one's so big. It's only two laps. I just noticed that. Oh shit! Where's the track go? I I totally didn't see that. That was like a super sharp turn. Wanted. I mean, it was nice that it put me past it, but it's like, well, now I don't get to practice it. And by the time I get back to it, I'll totally forget about it, probably, right? Because this track is long as shit, man. Oh, jeez. Alright. Oh, my gosh. Well. Well. Well, well, well. Oh, man, look how far back I am. <laughs> no. Let's not be a scrub. Being super far behind and hitting shit too, right? <laughs> oh jeez. This is kind of weird with the wheel. I like it though. It's making me like do different stuff with my hands. Okay, so is this like a shortcut? Can you like jump hop over that little section, I wonder? Oh wait, no, they put a guardrail there to keep you from doing it. Now the rings I understand, I understand driving on the moon, but what's up with the cookies? I'm not understanding if that's what the dealio is with that. Were there cookies in a rainbow road in, a, in one of the Mario tracks? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I'm not even gonna get to do that turn because dude's gonna finish so far ahead of me. But going back to what I was saying like 20 minutes ago, um, like, can you actually, how the hell are you supposed to hit that? I even had a mushroom, I still couldn't reach it. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. What what the hell is making these flames appear? Did those only appear on the second lap? That's so cool, how it's like different between lap one and lap two. But I was gonna say that it's gonna, I'm gonna have to play the track several times. Yeah, I do think you get a slight boost. Like the like the water boost you get from a uh, Koopa Cape. Oh, that's cool too. Little thing going around so you might get lucky and get an item. But uh, it's gonna take me a while to realize which ones are bad because I'm gonna have to play them multiple times. Because if I, you know, the first couple of times, oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? How the hell did I get ahead of that guy? Maybe that should be my goal. To just, oh, I did the turn without realizing it. Maybe that should be my goal is to just be ahead of that guy. This guy must be new too or something. Maybe he's just not good. But I'm, what I was trying to say is that I'm going to have to play it multiple times be, times because I'm not going to know if the course is bad or if I just suck at it. So I'm going to have to get like good. I'm going to have to like get practice at all the tr uh, at all the courses before I can determine if they're actually like good courses or not. Hey, sweet. Now I can get second potentially. Yeah, see right there? Why does it have the four from the Nintendo ones, I wonder? Oh, then I have to go back. Oh, excuse me. It, it like stays stuck at that. It's so weird. Oh, and here it stays stuck at those ones. Yeah, I don't know. Um, what do the stars mean? Does that mean it's hard? Hum. Yeah, that other one has two stars too. One guy wants to play Rush City Run. Let's pick that one next time. He's been voting for that one like every time. He hasn't gotten it yet. So we'll help him out. Okay, this one. There's a lot of empty... A lot of empty green. Oh wait, did is this Resway? It says Res right there. But uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like they could have put something. It's just like green, and then water in the super far distance. Oh, what sucks is that now for the next, for the next five thousand episodes. Oh jeez, oh man, that's not even shallow water. That's all the way. That's, uh, that's deep water. Alright. 
Wait, I didn't get a boost from hitting that ramp that had arrows that had like rainbow arrows on it. I didn't get a boost from it though. What the hell, game? Oh, geez. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be saying, I've never done this one, I've never done this one, I've never done this one for the next 5,000 episodes. Man, I don't know. I was thinking about sprinkling these in, these episodes in with the Nintendo ones, but I'm loving these ones so much. I think I'm gonna do like several episodes of, uh, of this. I guess the bad news is that I'm not gonna be like good. Oh geez. I'm not gonna be good for the next several episodes since I'm gonna be playing so many courses for the first time, but. Huh, now that I think about it, are there any, are there any other Let's Players that played all these courses blind and like made, oh shit, one more lap, no! I took my left hand off to scratch my uh, left, or my right tricep. That's always something I think is cool. Uh, I also, I've said this before, but in case you're new or whatever, uh, I'm a Let's Player, but I also watch a lot of Let's Plays. So sometimes when there's like a game I want to Let's Play, I'll like check and I'll be like, wait, why, why is there only one Let's Play of this entire game on the entire, oh shit, on the entire internet, what the hell, you know? But uh, I prefer, um, I like I like blind Let's Plays. Uh, some people like the blind ones because you get to see people's like first reactions and stuff. Some people like it when it's not blind so that the person actually knows what they're doing. Okay, it said the next one's mirror, and I'm like, no! I don't want to like learn a track backwards first. Oh shit, where was the one I was gonna pick? Oh man, there's way too many. I won't be able to even physically find it. What was it called? Rush something? I'm not gonna see it. I don't know, let's just pick this one. Cool Castle Canyon? Rush City Run, okay. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna find it. What if there's like, oh geez, how many, um, how many? I wanna say I heard the number is like over, it's like, it's like, I I don't know. The, the number 200 is like ringing a bell, but there's like no way there's that many, right? Plus I remember that from like a long time ago, so it's possible that that's a made up number, like a false memory, you know? Oh geez, we're actually underwater? Huh. I was not expecting this music to go with this, uh, with this, um, course or whatever. Oh man, this is so cool. We're like underwater. Uh, do those pipes blow you out or suck you in or something? It looks like there's little, like, trails. Wait, that'll push you up? Okay. Alright, that was kind of jank, gotta be honest, but... Oh my gosh. Is that, like, third level of, um... Of, like, off-road? I was down to, like, 18 or 19, wasn't I? Like they like is was that like custom programmed? I don't think there's anything in the normal game that slows you down that much when you go off the road. Okay, Jeepers. Oh, I am still ahead of um Mufasa or whatever. Uh, okay, apparently there was another way we could have gone. Alright. Huh. Was that a little drum section? Was that uh was that in the game or was that added, I wonder? I'm not entirely sure. Also, the way this track looks is freaking crazy, man. Maybe, th maybe the the one that I looked at was just like a um, like a first draft of it or something being made. Like this is com th like this feels complete, man. This could have been actually like in the real game. We got the little coral jams up there. That's so cool. I mean, yeah, they're 2D, but you know. Okay, so geez, how are you supposed to avoid that? <laughs> Do you have to hit the pipe on the left side? What, uh, what made that explosion? Maybe dude set a bomb. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this totally flies in the face of what I was gonna say based on what I had seen. Of it just being either flat or 90 degrees and that's it. Even like the colors palette of this is so cool. Like the red and the yellow and the blue and the purple. There's a lot of yellow, uh, yellow on purple. I guess isn't that Wario's colors? This is uh, this had this was named after Wario, wasn't it? I wonder if you can crash into the fish. Maybe they hurt you. Okay, the pipes don't seem to do anything. Let's try hitting the. Oh come on, man, no! Oh, that was my chance. Let's try hitting the pipe on the left side. Yeah, see, that's much better. Uh, 
Oh my gosh. Boy. If you can't make it around a corner with Peach with a, you know, with a mock bike and the drift bonus from Peach, if you still can't make it around a corner, that's when you know that you really effed up lining yourself up for that corner. Okay, how the hell am I in third? Oh man, my freaking drift like didn't activate. Yeah, I don't know why that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, sometimes it, it's rare. But sometimes, like, the drift, like, doesn't activate. Like, you're pulling, like, I was pulling the wheel all the way to the side. But it, um, maybe I, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I did something wrong. And it happens so rarely that I think it's a glitch. Okay, let's see if we can find that rush, uh. Oh my gosh. I'm still, oh my gosh, maybe there are 200. Cause I'm still seeing new uh, new symbols. <laughs> man, I don't know. Oh man, I'm trying to help you, bro. I can't find your freaking uh, fr the course you want. Rana plant pipeline. Oh jeez. Oh, I wonder how much this one's gonna bust my nuts. Oh man, I love the look of this one too. Man, I don't know, man. Something about the Mario Bricks, man. It's so nostalgic, man. Huh. This first part kind of looks like the uh, the one from Mario Kart 8. Is that what? Is that uh, was that on purpose? Did they? Oh, I think it is because there's a shortcut right there. All right. So, uh, so how come they didn't put uh, Wii U? next to it if they if they uh, remade it for the Wii U version or whatever I mean obviously it's a little bit different some of the elements are different but I'm pretty sure oh it does a cannon instead of a flying section all right fair enough what's up with the why are some of the oh they're like wooden cutouts or something All right. So even if the tra even if the courses are like garbage, like I'm not gonna like know it because they're they're gonna still be like new and fresh. And I just love this game so much that like even playing like a bad course is still gonna is still gonna be oh what the even playing like a bad course is still gonna like seem like really fun for a while until I play it several times and then realize it's garbage. Man, how the hell am I keeping up with these people? I mean, obviously, the one dude's way ahead, but... Oh, that one actually does push you. All right. But considering this is my first time playing these... I don't know. Maybe maybe they just suck. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, jeez. Okay, one more lap. Um... What's that? What is that guy's name? Mustafa? I'm curious what would make you name your dude that. And, and was the name taken with S's? And that, is that why you had to use the dollar sign? And I might actually be able to get second if I can get ahead of this guy. Um, I think I'm going to wait for... Uh, oh my gosh, where am I going? I'm going to wait for that dude to finish. That way the blue shell will hit that dude right in front of me. And boom. And man, and I got a gold shroom. Oh, I can go through the bushes right there, I think, right? Hey, sweet. I can go through right there, too. I was kind of hoping that uh, the second one wasn't like a, like, only, you could only go through, the, go through the first one, and like the second one was like a fake one. Like, there was actually going to be fence behind it. I just, that, I just like totally guessed. By the time I saw that you could go through it, it would have been too late for me to turn back. Oh man, I'm so proud that I got second, but I'm, uh, I can't really feel too proud when second only gets you, like, what, how many points did I get? Like, six? And those people are relatively low. I mean, I'm only 6,000, so I'm low, too, by comparison, but you know what I mean. Oh man, I guess, okay, cool. I was just about to say, I wonder if, um, it resets where the icon is every time you, um, every time you do another race. Man, I don't know. I gotta pick one. Because if there's going to be like 20 or 30 different uh, cups to scroll through or whatever 
for you to find the one that you want within 30 seconds and to select it. You would absolutely have to um, have it where it, uh, where it, where the cursor is like it, where it, like memorizes where the cursor is. Okay, I'm guessing this one's gonna be like a super duper easy one. This is the very, the very first one in the first Mario Kart? Usually the ones that are like the the first one, like the intro, like the first track on like the easiest cup, is usually like so simple that it's like a luck track or whatever where. Where uh, most the only people that like it are like noobs or whatever, because that's the only track that they can beat people with skill on or whatever. Oh man, it does seem different. It seems different yet familiar, I guess. Oh geez. Uh, playing, you know, I've played this one so many dang times, but seeing it from like this low angle is actually kind of strange. I'm pretty sure this is a, yeah, this is like a much more lower angle or whatever than on the Super Nintendo version. Right there. All right, it's doing okay so far. With six people, I could still, actually, I forgot to look at the, the VR of the dudes or whatever. I could potentially get fourth and then still gain depending on how many points the other people have, wow. <laughs> Oh man, that was an epic shot. Oh geez, I forgot to, oh. I forgot that I even grabbed that one. I guess I also don't have like the item box is, is like memorized. The item box locations memorized, so I don't exactly know where to use the uh, the jams or whatever. Huh, maybe this one's five laps, be laps because in the Super Nintendo version, um, man, I had a star, I didn't even notice. In the Super Nintendo version, um, you do five laps on the on the courses, right? All right. So that was what fourth. Maybe I'll still gain something. Uh, nope. Oh man, we got two four thousands. So I have to get like top three to gain. <coughs> oh my gosh, I found it. Let's pick it. Ugh. All right. Oh, my classic, my classic sneezing while recording is starting to happen again. I guess I didn't sneeze in the last episode. But uh, yeah, I started doing that again in, an, in a couple of videos. I said this before, but there was a point where I first started Let's Playing somewhere in the first couple of months where I sneezed in like every freaking video. And then, um, and then it like stopped. And then recently it started again. It's not, it's not every video, but it's been a, the la it's been a couple Okay, yeah, this is gonna be the last one. Man, this, uh, I don't know how I feel about this, this super duper bright red. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's like red on red on red on red on rainbow on red. Uh, okay, the track doesn't go that way. I thought that was a ramp. Okay, so unfortunately we didn't get to play uh, Rush City Run or whatever it was called. Uh, not in this episode anyway, so. Oh geez. Yeah, going back to what I was saying at the very beginning of this episode. Yeah, I mentioned that I'm just in my boxers and socks. Yeah, it's uh, something about recording makes the room increase by one degree every 30 seconds. And I don't have, like I haven't had any back sweat going to my butt crack yet, but uh, there's a little something going on in the back, in the back hole area. Well then what sucks is that when you don't have a shirt on, you don't have anything to like absorb that sweat, so as soon as it forms, it just trickles down, you know? Like going uphill, going on that uphill feels very slow. Man, these fucking stars are so cool looking. Those big giant uh, 3D looking stars, they look so delicious. All right, so this one's three laps also. Yeah, this could be from a Mario Kart game that, and I just don't know. Like, if, like I, I never played Mario Kart 7. So this is from, I think, like I said, if it's, if it's a course from Mario Kart 8, I'll probably recognize it, but I've never played it. And anything from Mario Kart 7, I'm, I'm like not gonna recognize. And even the GBA one, like I played that one, like I didn't, like, like I played it, but I didn't stick with it for like weeks and months and years, you know? I think I played it, how much did I play it for? I played it for, 
several hours for like a couple of days. Like I sunk like a good week into it, like playing several hours a day, I think. But any courses from that, if it's not labeled, I guess I guess the GDA ones are labeled, so I don't have to worry about not recognizing those ones. Yeah, I don't know why they would label the uh, the GDA ones, but then not label the uh, the Mario Kart 8 ones. And going up this hill is so slow. I guess it's not. My speed didn't go down at all, right? Oh, jeez. How the hell did I hit that? <laughs> I do feel like this ground texture could have been, like, maybe a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, like, even these, like, tunnel, the wall textures inside the tunnel are, like, really good. So, I feel bad talking crap about, like, the, the ground tiles or whatever in the, uh, in the, uh, the crater -y area or whatever. See how that's just, see, like, that right there? It just looks all, like, muddy and stuff. And even the ground right here looks kind of strange. I mean, I don't know how good you can make craters look. I mean, you could make it look like that. I mean, like, the ground right there looks fine. Oh my gosh, I'm still ahead of two people. Like, what are the odds that there's other people playing this for the first time as well? I don't know. Maybe they're just not that good. But to, yeah, going back to what I was saying about Let's Plays, um, yeah, I personally, I like, I like Let's Plays, but I also like it when it's blind. I think I like blind Let's Plays more. So I was just wondering, how many Let's Plays are there, how many blind Let's Plays are there of people playing the courses on this for the first time? I might be the only one. I mean, maybe not, I don't know. I don't want to pat myself on the back too hard, but that's actually, it, I don't know. There is, there is one game that, as far as I know, I have the only Let's Play or Blind Let's Play of that's a complete playthrough of. There was one person that did, like, a... He did, like... I forget if he did just one video or, like, a couple, but he didn't play it all the way through. And I don't blame him because the game is absolute garbage. <laughs> but I stuck through it, so... So it would be it would be um, pretty cool if, if, like, I was the only person thus far to have, um, like, blind videos of, um, of these courses. Uh, and now that I said that, now someone's gonna be like, oh shit, now I gotta get on it. But I guess anybody who would want to do that would already um, have played the courses, presumably, so they wouldn't be blind. Anyway, I don't know, I'm just talking on my ass. Am I even making sense anymore? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I did this episode and the last episode back-to-back, -back, and the heat's like, like, I'm start it's, it's starting to get really hot in here, actually. Um... So maybe I'm just slightly going insane. I don't know. So anyway, that's going to do it uh, for this episode. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button because I would really appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next video.